Hello again guys, slightly different and kind of interesting video for you today. The thing we're going to take a look at today, it's not for me. It's not for my office, but it's tech and gaming and fun related, and I thought you guys might enjoy it. But it's kind of a big box, so we're going to have to move from here to there. Alright, and this is way off of my normal setup, but I thought we'd give it a shot. This is the JS Ver Folding Gaming Chair. Let's dive into it. Now this chair retails on Amazon for $89.99. It looks like the actual retail price is higher than that, but that's the price that it has historically been. There could be sales, there could be coupons, be on the lookout. If I have any, I'll put them down below. There shouldn't be much in terms of unboxing though. There it is. And that's about all there was to it. So inside of the package here we get this little info about JS Ver itself, a little set of instructions for how to use the chair. As you can see here, it does have 14 positions available from being flat on the ground like this to being fully upright. Here's your steps to adjust though. Bring the fully upholstered back, this part fully forward, and then push it back fully down and then raise it to the desired angle. Sounds confusing, but we'll give it a shot. So I should be able to just grab this and lift it up. You can hear it clicking. And this goes all the way back down. And so this is position one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this is as high as it goes. And there is a lot of padding on here with a bit of a solid frame around the base. And of course a solid frame around the sides here. It's kind of like there's a metal frame that goes all the way around it with bars across the back here. And I guess it's probably time for me to go ahead and try to sit down and see if it'll hold my weight. I've got it fully all the way up. So let's see. It's a comfy seat. I cannot complain about it. I'm able to lean against it. Let's see if I can take it down some, because fully upright is just not me. Leaning back though, quite comfortable. That's not bad, but it's not for me. Hey, Duncan. Mm -hmm. Wanna see something neat that I got for you? Yes. You do? Yes. Okay, come on. What is that? What do you think it is? What does it look like? I have no idea. You have no idea. What could it be? A chair. It does kind of look like a chair, doesn't it? Yeah. You think it might be a chair? Yeah. You want to try it as a chair? Sure. Go for it. <laughs> it's wet. It's wet? It feels a little wet. It's not wet. Is it comfortable? Not that much. Does it need to be adjusted? Ah, oh, yes. Okay. Well, it is adjustable. So, sit up. Does it need to go up or down? Probably... Yeah. Uh. Is that pretty decent? Is that a comfy gaming chair? Is that a pretty cool gaming chair? And that's something that technically we could fold down and put into your bedroom. So it could be under your bed and then you pull it out, fold it up whenever you want to play games with your friends. Actually, I could probably take this on the road. You might be able to, I don't know. It depends on the car you put it in. So is that a pretty cool thing? Yes. Awesome. And I guess there you have it. Eight-year-old approved. Luckily, it is adjustable. It does fold flat, so technically when he's not playing with it, we can just lay it down and push it under his bed. And then when he's ready to pull it out and play games with his friends or play games in his room by himself or whatever, fold it up into whatever position he wants. You can technically even sit in reverse on it, just like if you turned a chair around backwards and straddled it or whatnot. So I thought it was just kind of a neat little option. He's had other gaming chairs in the past, and he's used beanbag chairs and whatnot, but they always take up an awful lot of room, and they're usually not collapsible. So something like this seemed like a really good fit. So what I'm going to do is put a link to where you can find it, as you probably expect, down in the video description if you want to check it out. I can't speak to the longevity of it, how it's going to work over time or anything, but it's mesh and breathable and nice. It's relatively lightweight. I think it's seven pounds and it will hold my weight, which says an awful lot. So again, links to where you can find it down below if you're interested. Hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to get notified whenever I put out new videos. I put them out Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Do you want to say the outro? Thanks for watching. See you next time.